The cab handrails in AMT's MyCar 600 kit are a good example of the stock kit part having the correct size and shape, but being rather inaccurate in the way it attaches to the cab. Per the instruction sheet, the top of the handrail is glued into a hole in the side of the cab shell, and the bottom end just touches the cab shell, providing a minimal gluing surface and no positive attachment. Here are the stock kit parts assembled as per the instructions, showing how the bottom of the handrail relies on a very weak glue joint with minimal surface area. Also, at the top of the handrail, the chrome circle set into the side of the cab shell doesn't resemble the way the handrails are attached to the real Mac R series cabs. A little bit of work with styrene strip and brass wire will result in a more realistic handrail that's also more securely attached to the cab. The first step is to fill the large holes in the side of the cab. Use a 3 seconds drill to open the holes up and glue in 100 thou diameter styrene rod to plug the hole. On the inside of the cab, ensure that nothing projects past the inside of the cab shell so it won't interfere with installation of the window glass during final assembly. I used a small ball end carbide mill and a motor tool to remove some excess projection on the inside of the cab shell here. After the kit grab handles are dechromed and cleaned up, cut off the oversized round ends which are highlighted in red here. File the ends of the handrail square and flat and glue a piece of 015 by 60 thou wide styrene strip cut approximately 200 thousandths of an inch long to each end of the handrail. When the glue is cured thoroughly, trim and sand the inside ends of the styrene strips to match the curve of the handrail. I used a piece of 132nd square brass bar to locate the hole for the mounting pin. Drill this out to fit 032 diameter brass wire and then use a piece of 332 wide brass strip as a spacer to cut the excess styrene strip to the correct length. Using these spacers ensures consistent location of the mounting holes and the tab length. Glue 032 diameter brass wire into the top mounting tab which is on the longer end of the handle leaving it projecting approximately 20 thousandths of an inch above the surface and the other end cut it off approximately the thickness of the cab shell. Drill an 032 diameter hole in the center of where you plug the hole in the side of the cab shell. This is now the attachment point for the top of the handrail. Set the handrail in place and use it as a guide to locate the bottom mounting hole. This is easier than trying to lay out and mark the second hole, especially on the slightly curved surface of the cab shell. Now glue the second mounting pin in place, leaving it extra long to serve as a handle during painting. With the handrail temporarily installed on the cab shell, you can see how the top mounting pin does not project inside and the body mounting pin can have its excess length cut off later after the handrail is glued in place. The finished handrail not only looks more realistic, it's also mounted more securely and cleanly, taking advantage of two brass wire pins that can be glued from the inside of the cab shell. To ensure that no difficulties arise during final assembly, as each handrail was completed, it was given a masking tape tab to indicate whether it was made to fit the left or right side of the cab. The handrails for this MACAR project, built a number of years ago, were done in the same way, using Alclad for the chrome finish. Modifying the handrails on the MACAR kit is a win-win, giving both a more realistic appearance and a more secure attachment for the finished part. Give this a try on your next MACAR project, and thanks for watching this little how-to.